Come on, it's her final phase. Get your ass together and log in. Cuphead and I go way back. I managed to beat one boss without a controller, but then I keep dying to the rest of the bosses. In my rage, I instantly deleted the game and wrote this track, but I knew I had to man up, get used to the new controls to finish what I started. No! No! That was so close! Oh my god! Catch your beta, bitch. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I did it! I did it! I did it! Oh my god! <laughs> Next up with the frog skin duo. And I struggled a lot in the final phase. Lock the fuck in. Lock the fuck in. Oh! <laughs> Why? Why did you. Ah, that was so close! Yes! Let's go! Let's fucking go, baby! <laughs> I then killed the local blueberry and crashed my first ever mausoleum where I was able to unlock the parry performance achievement and unlocked my first super art. After equipping the super art, a boat appeared out of thin air. I'll worry about that later as I took on Hilda Burke. <laughs> I'm edging, I'm edging, I'm edge messing. Brain rot from watching too much Kai Sinat. Oh shit! Oh, nice! Wait, what? Complete a level without getting hit. After that, I completed my second run and gun. I accidentally unlocked the cutting corners achievement and rode the boat earlier straight to the DLC, where I was able to retrieve the astro cookie to dominate the last IL1 boss as Miss Chalice. King Dice then diverted me to IL2, where I unfortunately challenged Baroness Von Bon Bon first. Kobe! Think fast, Chocolate! Yes! Yes! Fuck yes, baby! Fuck yes! 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 Oh my god! Unlike Mistress Wonka, Jimmy the Great is pretty easy. After three attempts, I used a super ass to defeat him, unlocking the Procellium Powder and the Golden Touch achievements. Baby the Clown wasn't that hard either, so the controller gods had other plans for me. Are you serious? And my controllers is jerking off in the background! I can't see shit! I have a control! Having a seashell! You see, you see, you see! Despite that, I was able to defeat him without taking any damage. That's an, that's an A! Let's go! Strangely enough, I didn't struggle as much in our 2s run and guns, but Willy Wobbles reminded me why this game is considered difficult. What the fuck is this Radiance attack? <laughs> no! 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 Okay, we good, we good. We have this in the bag, boys. I don't think so. Never mind, I don't, I don't have this in the bag. Yes! Jesus Christ. Ooh, they're adding the salt and pepper. Ay, ay, ay. Green matchstick tested my limits. This guy, I swear, is an elder dragon threat. Jesus Christ, these, these clouds are so fucking RNG based. Oh my god. This guy sucks so much ass. What the fuck? For fuck's sake, can you stop spamming those fireballs for five full fucking seconds? Oh my god. That was like 150 <laughs> percent. After three hours of the attempts, King Ghidorah goes down. Oh my god! Please! Please stop spamming me with fireballs! Please! Oh! 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 Where was I? Ah, I got the second super art. Then with the permission of King Dice, moved over to Island 3. Oh hey, another run and gun. I hope this level doesn't make me rage at all. Get out the way, bitch. Did you know you say it on the hoya? Yeah? Oh my god. Oh my fucking that was the worst possible boss to disconnect! Do you know more? What? 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 Are you fucking kidding me? Can you not? Can you stop disconnecting? Wow, with a fully functional controller, I was able to reach the end of the game. Who would have thought? This run and gun that last took me four hours. That is twice the hours it took me to beat promised consoles Radan.
Well, I hope I don't spend another four hours on Keller Maria. Oh, oh, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, chew, chew, my god. Oh my god, absolute radiance, absolute radiance, oh my god. Like, how am I supposed to deal with this shit? Like, how, 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 how? Oh, oh, I see! I have to kill the fucking eels. <laughs> Honestly not too bad, she took me around an hour to beat. After that I crashed the third and final mausoleum. By the way guys, check out this insane parry chain. Oh clutch! Two seconds later. No! No! All of that for nothing! <laughs> Anyways, I murdered that game journalist who choked the level and only used 1% of my power to unlock the Magician Lord Trophy and only 2% to knock out Sally's stage play, the Tom and Jerry crossover and rumor Honey Bottoms who was also my 10th Miss Charles kill. I then completed everyone and gun and subsequently collected every coin in base carpet. Following that, I challenged Dr. Cow's robot. Yes, come on me daddy! Come on me daddy, yes! I want all your sperm on my face! Yes, daddy! I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. Up to you! They put guy on guard. What's up, Shilda? Just select the two inches on your cock. I'm just a little bit short. <coughs> Anyways, he died of cringe. Well, only two bosses remain on our three. Surprisingly, our three's roster is way easier than that of our twos. Although I had all the soul contracts, I still have to take a lovely stroll through the casino to be granted the audience with the devil's biggest dick rider, King Dice. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Oh my god, what the fuck, man? Oh yeah, that was kind of easy, I'm not gonna lie. Now only the devil remained, and we can choose to give him all the soul contracts, but be corrupted ourselves, and get the selling out trophy, or be a man of faith and take down the devil in the name of Jesus. His first phase is really annoying, especially his minion devils. Phase 2 is literally where hell breaks loose. Damn. How ugly you are, my guy. <laughs> no need to sneer. Oh, 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 oh! Fuck! Fuck! Oh my god! Crying, huh? Yes! Yes! This fight is so good, man. After completing the game on normal mode, I unlocked the Souls Saved achievement. With all the base game bosses defeated, I then collected some miscellaneous trophies, like the balancing ball trophy by pairing the pink balloon five times in the Funfair FIFA running gun, collecting every coin in base carpet for the high roll achievement, and reaching the maximum limit of 9 HP to get the hard tier achievement. And finally, it's time to start the DLC. With a generous donation from the newspaper boy, I was able to purchase the crack shot and the broken relic, in which the former is very effective in taking out the moonshine mob. And unlike the YouTubers and Twitch streamers before me, I have known this deception. You stick motherfucker, I saw the, I saw the YouTube feed videos, little bitch. Easy. After that, I noticed a rope ladder from the heavens, which led to the king of the floating castle, who challenged me to beat his champions, but gets rewarded handsomely in return. His first challenge is more like cannon fodder. With a devastating chance, the game is already won. Thank you, my lord, you are being generous this time. But the next challenge will actually require me to put in the effort. Oh my god, that was a fumble! Oh my god, how did I throw that? He baited me. Okay, he baited me. A W for me and an L for you. That's crazy. Go kill your- Okay, when goes for a stab, he, he recovers fast. There you go. Two, I can go for two. Alright, I'm learning. He's still standing. Nice! With no more challenges available, I continued my boss lane adventure. Betsy is a type of girl that emphasizes the word wild in Wild West. This goddamn voucher always lives in my head rent free. What the hell? Like a sub dynamite! 
Oh, okay. I see. I see. You have to go behind. The sausage. <laughs> Nice! Whew. That was actually really fun! Despite the constant bullet barrages, Jesus, I can't even focus. After that, I equipped the broken relic and tempered around the graveyard until a shiny portal came out. Then I took a quick nap. In my dreams, I defeated the angel and the demon, unlocking yet another trophy. I also had access to the cursed relic, but I'll push that aside as I challenge the rest of the DLC's roster. At first, I was discombobulated by the inverted screen, and naturally, death ensued, but then I logged in and achieved an epic play. Oh my goodness gracious! I'm so good at the game! Yes! That was so good! This fight is so epic, oh my god, W! Ooh! 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 Come on, A rank, A rank, A rank, A rank! Yes, A plus, let's go! W! Well, the king saw me getting a flawless score and decided to amp up the difficulty with his first challenger. The fight was pretty confusing at first, but the rule is just snuff the candles and parry the head before you get overwhelmed by his deceptively fast speed. Ay ay ay! Dearly lossy! <laughs> it's been a while since your boy has blown any candles, but I do not forget my birthday parties. After that, I moved on to the fourth challenger. And the whole fight is basically just jiggling his balls and grinding his shaft. Although it came very close to the wire, your boy was able to clutch up. <laughs> Oh, nice! The opposite cannot be said for Mortimer Freeze and the Glumps on the Giant, whom I defeated within 3 tries for each. Huh, get the trophy while getting deep throated, what a wild way to have it. And I found my friend being stuck in a jar. Yes sir, I'm gonna use his soul for the lunch lead ingredients. They call me chef for a reason, cause I'm gonna cook your ass, little girl. Ay ay ay! Ay ay ay! Ay ay ay! Oh, oh, oh! I find the first phase to be really fun, although it's obvious bullet hell. And I even carried over to the second phase with 3 HP left. Okay, first phase done. Okay, first try. But then all hell broke loose in the kitchen. What the sh Sigma? Just look at the screen. The amount of color is more vibrant than Bob Ross' palette. There's so much shit going on. I, I, I swear to Christ. There's literally so much shit. Fuck, I don't know what's going on. There's blue, there's green, there's orange, there's red. <laughs> Eventually, I knocked some sense into him, causing the whole place to fall apart. And it's time to climb up the pillars of souls, pillars of souls. Fuck, man. Man, I was so close. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. That's so flying rich. Fuck! Fuck! Oh! Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that was not a, not an A rank. It is indeed an A rank. Although I had beaten the entire game, I was not done yet, as I'll have to beat the base game again on expert mode. And I almost forgot about the fifth champion. The fight is basically just shooting the preloaded cannons, but I'm dealing with the wrong deck of cards here. Jesus Christ, mo you motherfuckers are like stormtroopers! Inaccuracies aside, she isn't that hard, and I eliminated her within 10 minutes of attempts. With all 5 champions defeated, I have just enough coins to purchase every item in Pork Ryan's shop, which unlocks the Butter and Eggman achievement. And I have to beat them all again. Fuck off. Don't choke this time, please don't choke this time, or else I'll fuck up my keyboard, I'll fuck up my keyboard, I'll come in my keyboard. Fuck! Naturally and eventually I endured, and I cannot stand wasting another two hours grinding this shitty gauntlet. Yes! Jesus Christ! Fucking hell! I'm done. I'm finished with this game for today. <sighs> Whatever it takes to get achievement. And I lied, I continued the rest of the day grinding expert mode. I started off by getting an S rank on the easiest boss ever, but the hardest boss in expert mode had to humble me. Jesus Christ, is that thing going through auto on me? Please leave me the fuck alone! I then stayed overnight just to put her in the grave. At least I got an A rank, those 5 hours of attempts aren't wasted. As I was traumatized by Hilda Berg, I then decided to acquire the Divine Relic, which made the playing levels a little bit easier. Anyways, I continued where I left off on my expert playthrough and averaged A ranks on R1, R2 and R3.
Expert mode green matchstick is way easier than I expected. I'll take that S rank as an apology. Speaking of S ranks, I ended my expert run with two impressive S ranks. From rage quitting Cuphead to being somewhat decent at the game, I have come a very long way. After that, I moved on to the DLC and attempted to unlock two achievements in one go. God damn it, it's not an S rank! Fuck! Thank you! Jesus Christ! At this time point, only three achievements remained. And I got the P26 achievements rather easily by spraying Hilderberg with mini bullets. I hopped on the plane again and killed Betsy without killing her minions, which unlocked the high hat achievement. Finally, what's left are those annoying P ranks, which meant I have to pass the run and gun without killing a single soul. Come on, man, you're almost at the finish line. Don't just freeze up. Oh, 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 oh! Please tell me I did it! Yes! Yes! Anyways, get Ben Ben.